Hello guys and welcome to another video on this channel. On this week it's impossible to talk about anything else other than Tesla because there's just so much happening. So I want to talk to you about Tesla's latest new sports car and how I think that they're disrupting the car industry all over again. So stay tuned for that. If you're new to this channel we have electric car videos, health and family videos and if you don't want to miss any new videos please make sure that you hit the subscribe button that is here. So I am a Tesla follower and Elon Musk was going to release the Tesla Semi this Thursday evening and I am very disinterested in semis but I still decided to somehow tune in to the event and then he did do the whole semi event when he announced in the end that there is one more thing. So guys, we're going to talk about the significance of this car and then we're going to talk about the specs of this car which are actually fully 100% insane. There's just nothing in comparison to it and then that will be the video. So first, I really want to give credit to Tesla because they have had so much critics, so many people saying that they will not be able to bring a car to market and that they're going to go bankrupt, they're not going to have money and all their orders are going to evaporate. I actually did a whole video about all the naysayers. It's actually really funny to look at. So if you wanna have some time to kill, it's a really funny video, I really recommend it. So just to show you how big it is what Tesla is doing, let's take one of the biggest competitor wannabes and that is Porsche. They have their car which is called Mission E and this car was called the Tesla killer. Even I did videos about how I think that they are actual serious competitor to Tesla because they are also going to build out their own supercharging system. And in 2015, Porsche has shown this car as a concept. This car is going to come out in 2019, 2020. It looks more like 2020. And in the meantime, now you have to realize that Porsche is a very established, very capitalized German car maker and Tesla is basically a startup out of capital and in the same time Tesla has shown the Model 3 in 2016. They have actually brought Model 3 to the market a year later. They have shown the Tesla Semi and they have shown the new Tesla Roadster and they're bringing the new Roadster to market before or at the same time as Porsche, a very established German automaker, very capitalized, is only bringing their supercar that they showed in 2015, five years before, to the market. So they're like double beating their competition and this is very, very impressive of a, a brand new startup and of Elon Musk. But hey, I mean, this guy, he just keeps on impressing everyone. Now let's talk about the specs. So the car goes from zero to 60 in a whopping 1.9 seconds. And this is just the base version. Don't believe me, listen to Elon Musk. So obviously there is going to be versions that is better than this. And the car has a highway range of 620 miles or over a thousand kilometers. Now this is not the NDEC or whatever European cycle, very optimistic range. This is actual highway range. Meaning from Sweden you could almost drive down to South Europe to the beach without ever having to charge your car. Which is really really truly insane. End speed of this car is more than 250 miles per hour which is super car territory. The acceleration is basically the world's fastest period. There's nothing that is coming in comparison to it. And this car is competing with million dollar supercars like the Ferrari, like the Bugatti Veyron, like the Koenigsegg, and it's just beating them in every category almost except for high speed. But to be honest, the top speed of a car never really bothered me because like I don't really think that over 200 miles an hour there is really any place in the world other than a racetrack where you can drive. 
So I think that a speed of zero to 60 is a lot more sexy and a lot more interesting than if your car can drive 350 miles per hour or 354 miles per hour. So this car I think is totally going to disrupt the luxury car market because guess what? The base price is going to be $200,000 it looks like. And basically with this base price it's so low in a way that I had almost serious talks with my wife that if we weren't paying electricity for some years and we were water fasting like we did on this channel and other videos for a very elongated time period then we might just be able to afford this car. So it's just pure insanity and this literally I think is going to disrupt the whole luxury car sector. But obviously it's going to be you and the consumers and who have the final say. So actually, I'm really interested. Would you buy this car if you had the money? What do you think about this car? Is it going to disrupt the car industry? And tell me what you think about this car also down in the comments. This was it for this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to check our web store that is connected to this uh, channel. It obviously supports the channel if you buy anything from there and we're very, very thankful for that. And thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in the next video. Ciao ciao!